Now, 99 Adnock Rigs. What's that all about? This is a, a news article that came out um, middle of January in Offshore Energy. And Adnock is, of course, the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company and the drilling contractor that is Adnock Drilling. So the news article was talking about the fact that uh, they just bought in two additional rigs to take the fleet from 97 up to 99, and that these two rigs were purely to, to go in and operate at Lower Zakam and at the Umshay fields from the start of 2022. Well, we thought that's interesting, and uh, just give you a little bit of background, because this is scale, this is this is big. So the rig fleet that uh, Adnock Drilling has, 65 onshore rigs, 24 jackups, and 10 island rigs. The 99 is the total. But the stated goal is that the uh, the rig fleet will actually grow in size, probably to the order of about 122 by 2032. The plan is to drill thousands of wells in drilling in the, uh, the coming years. Here's a map showing where the United Arab Emirates are at the bottom end of the Persian Gulf there. And uh, we'll just zoom in a little bit on that. And you can see it's the area in yellow, which is Abu Dhabi, and all the other emirates uh, in the United Arab Emirates there, stretching up to Um al Khawain and Ras al Khaimah up in the uh, very northeast. But uh, the largest by far and away is Abu Dhabi, and this is where Adnok operates. These are the oil fields in the region, and uh, if we home in, we'll actually see highlighted here is the Um Sheif and the Zakam field. Zakam is, uh, we'll take a quick look at uh, Zakam, and on this section here, uh, we can see that uh, here's a sort of a cross section a diagram showing that it's reservoired mainly in the uh, in the Thamama reservoirs here, Shueba, all the way on down to the um, La Croix. There is a difference uh, between the upper Zakam and the lower Zakam. It's actually down to the fact that uh, the upper Zakam's higher pressure, um, a sort of a mid API. The lower Zakam um, is, is higher pressure, contains H2S, and is, is 39 to 40 API. Uh, generally speaking, the reservoir rocks here are carbonates, variable, um, 17 to 29% porosity. That's 1 to 60 millidarcies uh, permeability. And uh, very high oil saturation, 76 to 89%. As you can see from the section, there's nearly 2,000 foot of oil column. Interestingly, the two zones, the upper and the lower, were developed separately and actually have different equities uh, within them. So uh, that, that's... Uh, quite intriguing but it is a huge field and then you can see here here's one of the uh, the offshore platforms you can see the complex here's the the island here uh, where a lot of the processing or secondary processing goes on uh, here's the the Zakam central complex and you can see the satellites all around here and, and other fields that all feed into this uh, into this complex so that's the sort of area it's all relatively shallow water this is where we get the material from. This is our entries for Zakam and Umshaif uh, from Trove. You can see we've got lots of information to pull on. The huge investments. Um, in September 21, Adnock basically had an IPO and sold up a 7.5% stake in the company to raise $1.1 billion. As of November 2021, procurements awards were made for wellheads, downhole completion equipment, liner hangers and cementing accessories. And then here in February uh, 2022, framework agreements were, were signed for a valuation of $1.94 billion, and that was to Schlumberger, Halliburton and Weatherford. So these are huge contracts and um, major operations. But what is fascinating is when we have a look here, we just pulled together some of the bigger fields in Abu Dhabi. And you can see here that when we look at the years producing, that Zakam has been producing for uh, of the order of 55 years, and Um Shaif has been producing for 60 years. In fact, the range on there is uh, the youngest field in that list is, is sort of 48 years worth of production, and the, uh, the oldest is as much as uh, 64. But the interesting thing that Abu Dhabi is actually targeting uh, to raise its production by about 25% up to 5 million barrels by uh, 2030. 
Now, that's huge investments. Already, they've invested in the Upper Zach and Saab fields to the tune of $760 million, And there's going to be an, another further investment of $1 billion in Um Sheif. Now, let's have a look at the context here and the regional context of this. And this is the world production, world oil production data from 1965 right up to 2020. So... This is showing that uh, that oil just pre-pandemic got up to just over 94 million barrels a day. And you can see amongst there the big contributors, Saudi Arabia, USA, and um, back in time it was the USSR. Now it is just Russia, uh, is, this, is this orange band. Now, spoiler alert, this black band at the bottom is United Arab Emirates. So we're now going to focus in and just look at the Middle East. And you can see that the sort of in, in recent times, the, the United Arab Emirates is kind of a, a similar production to the Iran, Iraq and Kuwait, with Saudi Arabia being the, the, the big producer in the area. And that region here is, is producing sort of around about 33 million barrels of the, the 94 million total. Now, if we home in again, you can see this is just all the, the United Arab Emirates. Now, it's difficult to break out by just uh, Abu Dhabi alone, so it's it's shown here collectively as uh, UAE. Uh, and you can see that this target here, the target is actually the target for Abu Dhabi alone. So, you know, there will be some addition to actually add to that uh, for the rest uh, of the Emirates. Um, but what we can see in here, and what's really quite a compelling story, is that there has been a production incline, a growth in production, which has really been uh, going on now, on and off, with a few peaks and troughs, but has been going on for about 65 years and projected to keep on going for some time to come. Now, compare that and the, the target of getting to 5 million barrels on this chart here. This is the North Sea, and we show where the 5 million barrels now. This is oil production, United Kingdom here on the bottom, Here's Norway, and on the top is Denmark, and you can see the 5 million barrels. So uh, really, for the North Sea, it has kind of grown from nothing in the time that Abu Dhabi or the UAE has been producing. It reached, um, this turn here is actually a consequence of the Piper Alpha disaster. Uh, you can see that the production in the North Sea, the oil production peaked in around about 2000. But since then, we've been on a very, very steady decline. It's been arrested in recent years, but there has been a period of uh, underinvestment, and uh, I anticipate that that decline will start again, and we'll start seeing that, and uh, it'll be very difficult to, to actually arrest that going down. So very, very different. Um, so what do we draw from this? Well, the stated goal for um, Abu Dhabi is that they're going to ramp up production to 2030 and get to about 5 million barrels. Um, the North Sea will be well below low probably three million barrels heading for two by that time i suspect one of the targets is to achieve a gas sufficiency for abu dhabi but you know we've said this in other other videos that there is after all only one atmosphere adnox claims uh, that it's a, a low cost low carbon oil producer but you know emissions efficiency and carbon footprint must both take into account production and the transportation of the crude to markets and you know a lot of the crude from this uh, region is is transported by tanker to Europe and and beyond whereas uh, in places like the UK where I'm based you know there is sort of a potential for shale gas we've got the approved six developments which have made the minor headline locally and there are uh, significant transportation costs so when we see fields like Cambo at 170 million barrels only not going forward, um, you've got to kind of put that in the context of what's happening. There is only one atmosphere at the end of the day. Coming soon, more technical background on international oil and gas news stories. We're going to be following up in some of the hot regions of the world and watch this space. There's more coming. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel to see more interesting videos, ring the bell, drop me a line, Trove is the product and, and there's the website. Thank you very much for your time. Look forward to seeing you again.